Hey everyone, and welcome back to Made to Order a la Orden. I'm Chef Z, and today we're making locro de salami, which is a Dominican-style jambalaya. I can't even begin to tell you just how excited I am to show you guys how to make this recipe because it is one of my all-time favorites and a traditional family recipe. If you have any questions on how to make this, visit my website or see the description box below. Let's get started. Locrio, just like jambalaya, is simply rice cooked with mixed vegetables and meat. And today we're making it with salami, which is near and dear to my heart because I grew up eating this practically every Sunday. To make this locrio, we're going to need una sopita or bouillon cube, they're the same thing, a tablespoon of sazon or paprika, about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of tomato paste, a fourth of a teaspoon of black ground pepper, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of adobo. We're also going to need a tablespoon, so a tablespoon and a half of olives. Now I love olives, so I am very generous when it comes to this one, guys. We're also going to need half of a red onion, three cups of water, because we're making three cups of long grain white rice, a fourth of a cup of green peppers, some recao, and I have a blog post on what the difference is between this, so check that out if you have any questions. And last but not least, the star of the show, we're going to need a pound of Dominican salami. Guys, I have to keep it sober with you guys right now. If you guys don't live in a Hispanic neighborhood, finding the Dominican salami is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Yo, my bad. But <laughs> if you use any one of your favorite smoked sausages, hot sausage, or chorizo, this recipe will work just fine. So just substitute that and you guys will love it. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is warm up your pot and then add some olive oil. Once your oil is warm, add your salami. And we're just gonna cook that until they're nice and brown and golden. You wanna stir your salami from time to time just to make sure that it browns evenly on all sides. Now we're gonna add our onions and peppers and cook this with the salami until the onions and peppers are soft. Now I'm gonna add the bouillon cube which will also help the onions and the peppers sweat a little bit and soften even more. It's time now to add the pepper, garlic, and adobo. Once I mix that in, I like to add my sazon. The tomato paste is going to give the locrio a nice vibrant color, and I like to add it little by little because I break it up as I add it. Let's not forget my favorite, the olives. And now the water. We're gonna wait for that to boil and then we'll add the rice. If you taste your stock and it tastes salty, that's okay, that's exactly what we want because that's gonna be all the flavor that the rice will take and in the end, it won't taste salty at all. It's time to add the rice. Now remember, always rinse your rice about two or three times. We're gonna cook this down until the rice has soaked up all the water, and then we'll lower the flame and let it cook the rest of the way on a super low flame, almost like you're steaming it. Our stock is pretty dried up, so I'm gonna give this one last stir and add our recao. A trick to making your rice cook a little faster is to put some aluminum foil. When cooking your rice, don't forget to turn it on the lowest possible flame. Guys, when I think about comfort foods, 
Locre de salami is definitely one of the top three things I think about. My grandmother used to make this at least once a week because it was easy to make, pretty affordable, and a crowd pleaser. We were a lot of mouths to feed, and this was one of those dishes that we just always looked forward to eating. If you have any questions on this recipe or any recipes that you've seen on my channel, you already know, visit my website, chefzcooks.com, or see the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and follow me on social media. And let me know if you want to see other recipes like this as well. Hasta la próxima. Buen provecho.